it's a sport where you can build confidence, make friends and achieve a lot of things, yeah. I like go to nationals and all that and I can go to school and present my medals. It's given me so much, it's made me achieve a lot, like representing Australia, that is one of the main things that I've achieved in the sport, it's done for me. It's also given me great confidence in public speaking. I like about it because everyone's friendly and I feel like it's a big family. Oh, great facilities, um, good instructor, keeps up to date with his moves, um, just great teacher altogether, yeah. My passion for the sport is never ending. I've been doing Taekwondo for 40 years. Fell in love with Taekwondo for many, many uh, years. As I said, I've been doing Taekwondo for 40 years now. I still have the passion to this day. I still come to the club with a big smile. I do stress for the students when they go for gradings because I want them to achieve their best because I know their ability is there. They have done a pre-grading prior, but on the floor, you know, I want them to shine. Their parents are here to look at them. Sure, and I want the parents to see that, you know, well, hey, Rob's doing a good job and he's on the right track where I'm giving what I received, which is confidence, ability and strength. Not strength only on the outside, strength on the inside to allow him to go forward in life to say, well, I believe I can achieve. The club facilities is probably, uh, you know, uh, probably one of, the, one of the best facilities in Australia. It's got a fully sprung uh, floorboard under, the, under this mat, matting here. Uh, the training we do, uh, Olympic style uh, fighting for the students that want to compete in national and state competitions. We are on the way building another floor into the centre because when we're training and we've got people wanting to do competition, sometimes it might be a little bit tight, so what we're doing, we're putting another floor in the centre so those students that want to concentrate on those particular areas for state and national and international competitions may go upstairs and then do their training. We have international co uh, competitors here that's uh, gone to Korea and all come back with medals, so obviously we're doing a pretty good job here. Uh, Jared in his day was, uh, did a lot of competition sparring, very successful in his competition, uh, uh, you know, first place in the uh, uh, state national competitions, did very well and at the moment now he's concentrating on his technical, where for there, his technical there is, he, sure he's going overseas becoming a medalist, but he's bringing that technique back to the club so he could show the younger students, well, hey, I can do this too. People say, what's Taekwondo? What's the difference between Taekwondo and Karate? Well, my vision of Taekwondo is if you get all the martial arts and put them in a, in a box, okay, mix that box up and pour the bo first piece out, the mix is Taekwondo. Because Taekwondo has everything to offer. Your fitness, your flexibility, your focus, your elasticity in your body, your soul and your spirit. Martial art, Taekwondo, gives you awareness skills. For, for any time, as I just repeated myself, being in unfamiliar circumstances, it will give you this awareness skill and it will give you the ability to be able to get yourself out of trouble. Taekwondo, the martial art of Taekwondo, what is it? It's a sport, it's an Olympic sport, it's a world recognised sport. Your gradings are worldwide recognition. For those people sceptical about starting Taekwondo, don't be sceptical, don't view it, do it. Come along, come and see what we're about, we'll be welcoming you with open arms. When you walk down the passage you'll think, the warm feeling, the warm fuzzy feeling you get in this place is great because as uh, Jace, Jason said, it's, it's like a big family and uh, we are like a big family because you know, we all like to look after each other and uh, you know, we also uh, socialise outside of here. It's not you just do Taekwondo and just run off home and you see each other the, uh, the next time you train. 
we have a social calendar for the uh, for the year and uh, extra training for those people who want to do in competition. So there are those facilities, and uh, you know, as I said, I don't like to big note myself, but uh, you know, I'm still competitive in my uh, in my sport. Where I've just come back from the World Games with a silver medal, just you know, just missing out by 0.2 of a mark. It's not much, but uh, I'll be there next year to give it my best shot going for gold. Who is Taekwondo for? Taekwondo is for the five-year-old that walks through this door, that their parents want to bring him in for um, uh, sporting activity, uh, preparation for school. So, you know, these days, unfortunately, there's uh, bullies out there and uh, Children need to understand, okay, bullies are just a mouthpiece, okay? If you stand there with confidence, those bullies will leave you alone. The young teenagers, this sport is for you, okay? It's before you're working, okay, you still have uh, school life ahead of you, but guaranteed, I guarantee you it'll help in your achievement for your goals at school. Taekwondo is also for the, uh, you know, the 30s. I mean, you know, a lot of people around about 30 are married. They're getting in a situation where they're, they're in a bit of a routine. They want to think, oh, what, what can I do? I've finished football. I can't play football anymore. Come and do Taekwondo. Taekwondo, 30, you're still a young pup at 30. 40s, 50s. Well, hey, I'm 56 and I'm still training hard and I love it. I have in this club, uh, probably about three 60 year olds and these guys since they've been training they used to be parents watching their children and then I thought well hang on I can do that and I look at them these days and I think fantastic have a look at these guys and they are so proud of what they do because they have got a focus their journey is not about retiring their f focus now is going forward to say hang on what else can I do? What else can I achieve? And that's right across the board, from the five-year-old to the 60-year-old. Training is never ending. It's infinity. It progresses along. Training is as hard as you want to put into it. Hey, sure, I'm there to uh, push you along to achieve your goals. And, uh, you know, look at me. I'm still achieving my goals at my young, ripe age.